How's it going guys? Winter Kills here and welcome to the round four and the final feature match from May 8th Locals. Winner takes all here. Winner will be getting first place. Uh, so Earth Machines on the right piloted by my friend Adam. He was in the previous uh, feature match in round three versus Cyber Dragons. If you guys want to check that one out, I'll leave a link to it up in the top right. And we have Mutants on the left, same Mutant player that you guys saw in round one. Um, and I did take a poll on this one. Uh, the results were a little early results here, but you guys seem to think that Mutant wasn't going to be taking the W here. So we'll see if you guys are correct. You guys were correct with the last poll. So let's see if your guys' uh, guessing powers uh, will continue uh, to be in your favor here. So... Uh, an unfortunate turn one for our Earth Machine player here, not looking too strong. An unplayable hand consisting of Double Bell, Trencher Box, and Fortress. You really hate to see that. Um, and our Earth Machine, our Mutant player here, opening up with a copy of Extravagance. And we're gonna see the Mo5 Search ST46. And uh, the way I remember it is M05 has the M in its name, so it can search monsters, and ST46 has ST for spell and trap. You can search spells and traps. So now we're going to see uh, the M05 tag out by banishing Mist from hand to summon out Beast, which is a spell negate uh, in the deck. The only uh, mutant monster that negates cards, interestingly enough. And it will swing in for 2400. Uh, pretty good start here for our mutant player and he'll set four and that'll do it for his turn We'll see if our earth machine player has any luck here in finding one of those 12 starters in the deck Technically 14 now with those urgent schedules in the main deck that we know are there um, But we're gonna see him start with the fortress pitching trencher And it looks like he did pick up a harvester for turn which is incredible. You'll love to see that um, so he's going to now normal summon the Harvester attempt effect. It looks like it is going to resolve. Uh, the one thing with that would really hurt to see here would be something like there can be only one. Um, which is mained in our mutant player's deck. Um, which is a, a, tr a floodgate that uh, plagues the Earth Machine deck. I know from personal experience uh, this to be true. And I'm pretty sure most Earth Machine players know as well. That's why I really love the idea of maining back or removal in the main deck. Um, and our Earth Machine player is going to attempt to use Harvest Effect to level mod uh, for level 9. But, you know, we're going to see Tikaboo shut that down. And we're going to see a Mutant Expansion here uh, to start off things for our Mutant player. That's going to add a special a Mutant. And uh, he's going to summon the MO5. That's going to add, it looks like, a copy of Arsenal. And, uh... Also, one thing I'm going to be doing from now on, uh, you guys may have also uh, noticed the trend at this point, is that I will be uploading first place deck profiles pretty much every week uh, for you guys to check out. It's one thing to uh, get the players more involved uh, in videos and things like that, and also uh, you know add something a little more to getting just uh, first place at locals instead of just store credit. You know, get a profile up on the channel and that way I can bring more variety to you guys in terms of deck lists because I know a lot of time you guys uh, ask to see deck lists from locals so this is a way that I think is uh, a good compromise from getting variety and also getting you guys uh, the better lists uh, from you know the better players that uh, show up to locals so uh, very excited to continue doing this for you guys um, but our mutant player is going to go ahead and search a copy of evolution lab here also has what I think is Mist on the field. Or might be Arsenal, actually. I think it's Arsenal. Um, and, because uh, I think, he, yeah, he banished a trap uh, for it. Now we're going to see him activate Evolution Lab. That's going to put one of the bottom to draw. And this is also going to inherently just boost all mutant monsters by 100 for each banished mutant card with a different name. Um, but he's going to not go into the battle phase here because he wants to keep our Earth Machine player locked up thanks to that Tikaboo. There can only be fun at this moment. Um, so we're going to see him activate Heavy Forward to, you know, search a card he can't do literally anything with. Um, but it looks like he's going to crash. Looks like we're going to actually just see him crash here. And he's going to attempt to use the effect of Fortress Engrave to pop. Trying to go for that Tikaboo, but Psalm Strike says no. 
Um, Solemn Strike proving to be a pretty crazy card still. Um, but our Earth Machine player can do something now. He's also forced out of strike in the process, which is pretty good. Um, I mean, it's better than nothing, uh, but he can't really make too much of a play at this point. Looks like he's just going to bring that Fortress back. Fortress putting in a lot of work right now. Still going to prove to be a bit of a roadblock, uh, roadblock for our Mutant player. Uh, because, you know, if he kills it by battle, it's going to, you know, trigger that mandatory effect to pop a card. And if he goes ahead and targets this as well... Uh, you know, he'll get to rip a card out of hand. But we're going to see a Torrential Tribute on the summon of this Fortress. Now, this is interesting. Um, it's going to clear the field of our Mutant player, which um, I kind of get why this happened. Um, but I also am not sure why Torrential would be used there. Um, I mean, I guess it really doesn't matter too much at the end of the day because Tikaboo still sits on the field. Um... And I guess he also uh, maybe was getting the idea that our Earth Machine player was becoming extremely reliant on having Fortress. Um, so maybe he wanted to see if he would summon it again by uh, discarding more cards, essentially making him go minus. Um, I wouldn't be shocked if that was the game plan, but it uh, looks like he's going to search off Harvester and set a monster to play around there can be only. And uh, we'll see a trap trick as well in the end phase here for Mutant Cry. Absolutely busted card, but he's got the Ghost Bell for it. Um, that would have summoned out a synthesis to pop. Could have been pretty bad. Um, not, I think he might have been able to go for Ultimus there. I could be wrong, but I think he might have been able to go for Ultimus if that Cry would have resolved. But we're going to see him normal summon MO5, or ST46 rather, search a copy of Cry, and end turn there. Um, basically do or die right now for our Earth Machine player. Can he out this Tikaboo? Um, I honestly don't know if he has Spell Trap removal in the main deck. I think his only hope currently to get rid of Tikaboo is if his opponent does it for him or if he finds a way to get Fortress to resolve uh, and popping that Tikaboo as a result. But we're going to see Forbidden Droplet now being activated and an attempt to clear Machine Monsters off the field to negate that MO5. Uh, we're going to see Imperial Order there. Um, regardless, that will open up a way for our Earth Machine player to get Fortress onto the board. And we'll see him attack over the ST46. And now we're going to see a Mutant Cry get activated. And I think, yeah, I think we're going to see a Mutant Ultimus here shuffling all three of the big mutant monsters back into the deck and there is mutant ultimus uh, which is basically like better macabre uh, i think the card says something like and it has 3500 attack as well um it says something like when your opponent activates a card or effect uh, you can banish a card from your hand field or from your hand or field or grave um of that same type and negate that card you know monster spell or trap so you can banish a, a trap uh you can banish a monster banish a spell and negate a card of that same type on his opponent's side of the field. Um, but now the clock is ticking here for our mutant player, taking 700 every standby phase. Turns are passing back and forth here quite quickly. Uh, Ultimus attacking into a set bell, passing it back to our Earth Machine player. He's going to set one, taking another 700, dropping him down to 1,200 now. And uh, luckily, the order is on the field negating that evolution lap. Otherwise, that would have been game there. Uh, but our Earth Machine player is living with just 200 life points. He's going to summon Fortress one more time. He cannot pay for order here, so it will get destroyed, leaving him with only 500 life points. It is literally anybody's game, seemingly, at this point. The Ultimus is going to attack into the Fortress. Fortress's mandatory effect will activate. That's going to force the Ultimus to banish a MO5 uh, from the grave, or an SD46, I believe, and pass it over to our Earth Machine player, who's going to start with Heavy Forward. Pretty good card to have in this situation now that order is gone. But Tikaboo, of course, still exists. And uh, I think he's going to go for another Fortress play. I think he top decked Derek Rain, uh, but it will prove to work as discard fodder here. Uh, not the most optimal way, unfortunately, but, you know, it is what it is. It's going to allow him to at least resolve a Tunneler, at least attempt to. But Ultimus is going to say no going to go to the battle phase again with Ultimus, run over the force, it's going to trigger its mandatory effect, he will negate, banishing another MO5 from the grave, and uh, that is very unfortunate, pass it back to our Earth Machine player, 
Did he draw what he needed here? He's going to go for Trencher to bring out Harvester, and Harvester Effect is going to be met with an Ash. Our Earth Machine player cannot catch a break here. So close. Setting one in passing. Ultimus attacks over the Harvester. He sets one and passes it back. Did he draw a card that he needs? No, he did not. And after 10 minutes, we're into game two here. And I want to mention if you guys are interested in picking up some amazing TCG accessories, sleeves, binders, deck boxes, play mats, such as the one you see on the right, um, check out Imperium Duelist. They, they do all sorts of amazing play mats, uh, like the one you see on the right. I don't think that one is available anymore, but uh, just to give you guys an idea of the type of caliber mats that they put out, they're absolutely amazing. Uh, I did a play mat through them uh, called Blazing Permafrost. You guys should check it out. It's still on sale, I believe on other amazing stuff on their site as well. And if you guys uh, want to, you can get it at a discount by using my discount code, WinterKills10 off at checkout. Uh, save 10% off your entire order and support the channel and the process. And if you guys are buying anything on tcgplayer.com, uh, do not forget to use the affiliate link I have to the site down in the description below of all my videos. If you guys shop and check out using that link, a small bit of the revenue from your purchase goes right into the channel and helps out greatly. And if you want early videos and things like that, behind-the-scenes content, exclusive member-only videos, check out uh, becoming a member of the channel today uh, by clicking that blue join button below. So, looks like here we're going to see our Earth Machine player open up that redeployment once again for a very strong combo. Discarding a Cruncher, I believe, to be able to secure that copy of Overdrive, which is huge. And I think we're going to actually see him go for the uh rank nine combo here uh or not open up redeployment again i'm getting this confused with the round three feature match where our, our earth machine player did open up the redeployment game one but did not go for the rank nine combo but now going for it here see so obviously doesn't have to worry about contact fusion uh so we're gonna see him summon out enter blast near disc or detaching the fortress Let's see what he banishes banishes an st46 from the hand now, probably would have hoped to have banished maybe like a Tikaboo, um, but, uh, you know, he'll take it, I guess. And uh, pretty interesting interaction there as well. Dozer is going to be uh, hit with an Ash, but our Earth Machine player does have a clutch call by the Grave. Uh, and that is going to allow the Dozer to resolve summoning out Trencher, which will, of course, in turn give him access to River Stormer. And uh, that will get him a search as well. Uh, but now going into now going into the River Stormer after uh, sort of detouring into Goliath and then summoning out Trencher. And uh, yeah, so doing the rank nine combo here, but doing it in a little bit of a different order. Uh, linking Stormer into Goliath. And then at this point, I think we'll see Goliath send off Stormer and Goliath will attach to the Enter Blathnir. And I think we'll see him now probably pitch Bullet. Or no, going to link into another Goliath. And then pitch bullet, I would assume, for Fortress. Yep, pitching bullet for Fortress. And then I think we'll see him link these two into Knuckle. Now we'll see the Tunneler Resolve. Putting back two Goliath, Ballista, and Dozer, and Cruncher. Uh, would have been able to put back four extra deck monsters if he not attached... Uh, the Goliath to the Ender Blath here, but it's perfectly fine. Uh, that will protect it basically from synthesis because uh, it can now not be destroyed by card effects. So it looks like this combo is pretty much coming to a close. We're going to see him set one back row, which we know to be the Overdrive, and Bullet is going to add back Cruncher, and that'll do it for his turn. So our uh, Mutant player technically down two cards here to start off the turn. It looks like he's going to set one. And now we're going to see Knuckle get chained here. It looks like he might actually just be tempting to enter the end phase. Yeah, and then uh, before he leaves main phase, we're going to see Knuckle bring back Bullet. Overdrive is going to target Bullet. That's going to summon Citadel. It's going to trigger an end phase effect of Bullet to add Box. And with it, Box will add Drill. Um, okay, so things not looking too hot here for our Mutant player. Earth Machine player will draw for turn. We're going to see him activate Enter Blast here immediately. Probably to banish a card he controls. Uh, or, yeah, on the field, basically. Does not target, so it is important if that he wants to uh, use this uh, card. He's got to activate it now. I mean, I guess it would be more important if he had other cards in the field, but 
Regardless, we'll use the expansion to add ST46. Expansion will get banished. And our Earth Machine player has plenty of options here right now. Um, but it looks like his first plan of action is to start with Trencher. To bring back Harvester. And not use Harvester Effect. Instead, he'll opt to just use a copy of Overdrive in the Grave to put back both Trenchers and Tunneler. It looks like he draws into a copy of Heavy Ford, which is actually pretty clutch here. So you can basically just go get back one of those cards that you just put back into the deck. Or just go secure Tunneler again uh, to draw some more cards. Or you could leave Tunneler in the deck. Um... I guess there's no reason to actually grab it right now since Ancient Gearbox is already in the hand. I was going to say, you could leave the Tunneler in the deck to get off Box, but obviously there's no way to do that if Box is at hand. Um, so you could just search it out right here with Heavy Ford if you wanted to. But it looks like we're going to see him Normal Summon Drill here. And with that, he's going to bring out Derecrane. And I think what he's trying to do here is actually just go for a game and keep it under five summons because I think Nibiru is the only way he loses here. And he's going to play it around the Nibiru attacking for 3k 18 15 14 and 29 which is definitely gonna prove to be game and earth machines taking it on turn three in game two and we're into a game three situation an unfortunate game for our, our mutant player getting kind of molly -wop there in game two not seeing too many uh engine pieces at all that one expansion was not going to be enough um, and uh, here we are in game three where our mutant player does go first, of course, starting with set three. Oh, you hate to see it. There can only be fun among those cards. And uh, he's going to activate in response uh, to the resolution of Harpster. And our Earth Machine player will respond with a similar board of set four this time. And I'll pass it to our mutant player. He'll set one. Pass it back to our Earth Machine player who's actually going to tribute set here. Uh, pass it to our mutant player who will set one and then pass it back to our machine player and it looks like he attributes summon for a dozer um interesting way to play around tikaboo actually i don't know why i've never thought about doing this as tribute setting i guess because I, I didn't know you could technically do it but you can uh tribute set um so long as the monster is set um and stays set if there is another machine monster on the field at least in this case um but dozer will allow him to punch it for 19 and uh on our uh, mutant player's turn, we're going to see expansion, summon out MO5. Uh, it is going to be hit with a droplet. But looks like he's still going to attempt to use MO5. Because he can still activate his effects. We'll banish for costs and be negated as a result. Um, but that's going to open up room for our mutant player to activate mutant fusion. And it'll get to fuse from deck, essentially, since our opponent activated a card effect. Um, that's going to allow him to gain access to synthesis. And Synthesis on Summon is going to pop what I think was Overdrive. Which, of course, cannot even be activated right now under Tikaboo. And he'll swing over the Dozer and he'll pass it back to our Earth Machine player. He's going to pitch Citadel for Fortress. Excellent discard to have here. He's going to go into the battle phase to crash with the Synthesis. And it's going to create some Chain Links here. Chain Link 1 Fortress, Chain Link 2 Synthesis, and Chain Link 3 Citadel. I think it would be Chain Link 1 for just Chain Link 2 Citadel, Chain Link 3 Synthesis, because turn player will get to go first in terms of Chain Links here. That Fortress will resolve pop popping the Tikaboo here, which is extremely important, and it'll allow him to get in for 3k with Citadel, uh, which is really good. So things looking pretty okay here for our Earth Machine player, but, you know, still not out of the woods yet. And we're going to see our mutant player here start with Expansion. You can either add or summon one. It looks like he's going to go ahead and summon of the ST46. Hope I'm not getting these mixed up. Uh, but I believe that's ST46. So let's see what he adds here. It'll reveal what it is. Yeah, it's ST46. So he's going to add a copy of Expansion. Expansion proving to be a really strong card for the deck. Not only for its searchability, uh, but the protection in fact it offers. And, you know, it is a trap that's searchable. So it allows basically, uh, you know, the smaller mutants to bring out one of the better mutants, which I think is arsenal um one of the strongest uh, more offensive mutant monsters in the deck um so we're gonna see a mutant cry get activated or an ice dragon's prison and then i think he's gonna chain mutant cry to dodge it 
or at least to get the synthesis out of the grave. Um, but we're going to see our Earth Machine player chain call by. And that's going to hit the synthesis. And that's going to make so it cannot pop on summon, which is actually really beneficial here. And now we're going to see SD46 banishing itself and expansion question mark thinking about going for expansion second guessing though here so it looks like he's actually going to banish an expansion from hand instead so he's going to go ahead and get to summon arsenal a 3k beater right now basically if a uh, monster I think on the opponent's side of the field activates effects he can banish a monster uh, his opponent controls um, by banishing one card he has. And he'll activate Evolution Lab. That's going to bring out MO5. MO5 is going to search Mist. And I think right now he might actually just use the effect to draw. Since I don't think he really needs to get Mist on the field. So yeah, he's just going to go ahead and put the Mist back to the bottom to draw. Leave the Mist in the deck for later. Now we're going to see him activate MO5 banishing itself and a Nibiru in hand. And he's going to go ahead and summon out Beast, since he banished a monster. So I think if they banish a trap, it's Arsenal. A monster, it's Beast. And a spell, it's Mist. Um, sometimes it's easy to get those mixed up, because uh, they all do different things based on monster, spell, or trap. Uh, but Arsenal is going to attempt to swing into the Citadel, which is at 3100, thanks to Evolution Lab. Um, but obviously in the damage step, Droplet is going to activate to have it, uh, to make him take, I think, 1450. And, uh, we're going to see an end phase overdrive here, desperately needing to get some card advantage. Uh, so this allow him to pick up a card here, and then another one for the draw. And hopefully he's got something good here. Finds a heavy forward, which is huge, but unfortunately... Beast is going to negate and banish. I think he might have forgotten about that. Because um, he could have easily forced battle phase. Um, and gone for... Uh, you know, to run over the uh, the beast. But he might have been able to protect it. Uh, with Arsenal. Or not Arsenal. Um, the expansion. And... Uh, wow. A very... Bold play here for a mutant player. Going to... Strike that standby phase Lancia from our Earth Machine player. Which, I mean, you gotta do at this point. You gotta make a pretty big push, especially since you got Extravagance. So you get a normal ST46. And that's gonna add a copy of Mutant Cry. Just such an incredible card to keep searching out turn after turn. Not only is it gonna recycle, like, some cards back into the deck, um, but it's also just gonna bring out really strong monsters like Synthesis and Ultimus. Um, he's got another one set. Gonna put back two. There's another synthesis that's gonna attempt to pop the Citadel. And our Earth Machine player is gonna chain Citadel targeting himself, but expansion on resolution is going to protect both synthesis. And uh, that is going to open him up for 2600 damage each, since they're all up by 100 thanks to Evolution Lab, leaving our Earth Machine player top decking here. And he top decked a droplet. So Earth Machine falling 2 1 to Mutants here in the finals. Mutants taking the first place finish. So if you guys want to see that first place mutant deck profile, that video will be going up tomorrow. Do not miss it. Make sure you've got notifications on if you want to see that first place deck list. Um. Yeah, you guys, uh, you guys were in the wrong here. You thought that uh, mutants would not be taking the fatty dub, but they did nonetheless. Um, Tikaboo is a hell of a card. What can I say? Um, I think maybe things would have gone a little differently if Tikaboo was not, uh, you know, flipped in games one and three. But you know, it is what it is. Yeah, you gotta have those uh, twins and cosmics in for that. I'm assuming our Earth Machine player sided those in and just didn't get lucky enough to draw them. And then it's unfortunate to see that top deck forbidden draw. But as good as a card as it is, um, it's not a great top deck. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And again, do not forget to uh, subscribe and turn notifications on so you can see tomorrow's video for that first place mutant deck file. 
But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, we're going to kill Sign out. We'll see you guys in the next one. And last but not least, a special thanks goes to all of the YouTube members supporting this channel. Uh, especially our Divine Level channel member. And he is Cadillax84. Thank you so much for your continued uh, and extremely generous support of the channel thus far.